I believe that EOS is going to shock the world during this bull run. And even though nothing I say is financial advice nor a guarantee, the reason for that is because $20, again, during this bull run, that right there wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. And the reason for that is because I think that the AOS network really is one of the best things out there pretty much because after all, it is a decentralized physical infrastructure network for Web3, AI, streaming, and as well as storage. Now, some people may think that, okay, these markets are kind of caca, all this type of stuff, but I completely disagree. For instance, we take a look at AI, which pretty much is going to be the next big thing. Now, the hype isn't necessarily the strongest as of right now compared to like months ago, but I still do believe that better days are ahead. I mean, for instance, right, you take a look at according to Grandview Research, they do predict that the AI market could be worth nearly $2 trillion by 2030. That's kind of insane. First of all, we're so close to 2025. I mean, it's not even that far away at this point. So like 2030, it's basically like five years away. Not to mention, that's massive. You know, nearly $2 trillion. You know, for instance, the GDP of Canada back in 2022 was around $2 trillion. So this is very ridiculous in my opinion. I mean, this is very impressive stuff. Also, we take a look at, for instance, right, streaming. That also has a lot of potential in my opinion. As we all know, we take a look at, for instance, yet again, according to Grandview Research, because, you know, they like to predict things. They do predict that the video streaming market size by 2030 is expected to be worth over $400 billion, which is kind of insane. Now, is it as big as like AI, for instance, the predicted market size? No, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. I mean, you know, anything in the hundreds of billions of you know, dollars worth in valuation, that's very insane in my opinion. So yeah, I still think that there's a bright future ahead. And as I begin to say all of this, I think it's clearly evident that AOS, it's focused on the correct markets, right? We see a lot of other projects out there focused on random nonsense, like partnering up with celebrities, partnering up with athletes, but there's not much substance there. They're not really focused on anything. But when it comes to AOS, it's focused on all the right markets. Is it the most flashy project out there? Absolutely not. Is it the most interesting or cool? No. But in my opinion, it's very fantastic. And again, it's very revolutionary. And something else that I would actually like to mention when it comes to, you know, AOS is their emphasis on storage. Now, here's the thing. The data storage market size, according to Fortune Business Insights, also by 2030, is predicted to be worth nearly $800 billion. So yeah, that's insane. People oftentimes focus on the AI aspect, you know, on the streaming aspect when it comes to AOS and also other projects as well. But when it comes to, you know, data storage, quite essentially, you know, that market has a lot of potential too. So I think this is very amazing anyway I view it when it comes to AOS. Not to mention, we take a look at this, right? You know, when it comes to AOS, they're currently partners with NVIDIA, which is insane. That's massive. You take a look at Alibaba Cloud, hashtag Jack Ma, you know, Alibaba. And also, for instance, we take a look at Google for startups. And by the way, we are using YouTube. So of course, we all know Google. I mean, this is very impressive right here. And also even Qualcomm as well. Qualcomm is massive, by the way. It's just one of the biggest things out there. So anyway, take a look at it. You know, if AOS was so bad, would it be able to have like these partnerships, so to speak? Absolutely not. It's just not possible. You know, these large scale, you know, entities they're not going to want to partner with something that's trash or caca or something like that. They're not going to do that. Before they do something, they have a team. They do their due diligence. They actually evaluate things properly. So when people like to say that, oh, yeah, you know, this meme coin is partnering up with this celebrity. It's partnering up with this, you know, athlete. That's totally different than this. Now, I get it. That's a lot more flashy. That's a lot more interesting. That's a lot more cool. But this one actually has substance. And this right here is actually a lot more difficult to pull off. You know what I mean? So when it comes to AOS... I think it's pretty impressive. It's not the biggest project out there, but it doesn't really need to because in my opinion, you know, this is kind of a good balance in between. You know, it's not a micro cap where the risk is like super high, where also like it just feels kind of dangerous to me, to be honest, a little bit too much risk for my appetite. But then at the same time, it's not like a dinosaur. It's not like a Solana, like a Bitcoin or like a BNB or like an Ethereum where they can't do, let's say over like a 20X during this board. That's just the way I view it, at least from the point where they are in as of right now. So when I take a look at something like AOS, again, it just has that good balance in between. It's not a super massive project where the room for growth is complete trash, but then at the same time, it's not like a micro cap where the risk is just very high. Could a micro cap outperform AOS during a fully fledged bull run? Absolutely, because if they have like, let's say a $500,000 market cap and they go to like a $2 billion market cap, then the increase is so amazing, right? Is AOS going to be the best performing 
thing out there during this bull run? I don't think so, but it doesn't matter to me because you take a look at, for instance, $20. It's still around a 50x from here. In my opinion, anything over a 10x is actually very impressive. Anything above that is really just a big bonus, in my opinion. Because some people like to say that, yeah, if it's not like a 1,000x, a 500x, you know, then it's not good. But I disagree. Like, for instance, if let's say I have, you know, two cars in my garage, right? And then I woke up tomorrow and then it increased by like 10 times. Let's say I had 20 cars. That would be crazy. But then a lot of people out there, because they keep taking a look at these people saying, yeah, 1,000x, 3,000x, all this type of stuff. They get used to it and then they think that, oh yeah, if it doesn't do that, that means it's bad. However, I just completely disagree. But that's just my mindset though. No one has to, you know, follow what I'm doing, but I'm just saying, you know, when it comes to AOs, I don't think it's so bad. Again, at the price of $20. And I think the gains are still hypothetically pretty good. Now, not to mention market cap at that point, considering current circulating supply would be around $23 billion. So it's not bad. We take a look at, for instance, you know, we've seen... Dogecoin reach over 80 billion. We've seen SHIB reach around 40 billion. So that's just basically like 50% of, you know, Shiba Inu's all-time high market cap. It's not too much to ask for. Now, granted, AOS doesn't have the hype or the fans of like a Shiba Inu or Doge, but when you consider its partnerships, when you consider its use case, I don't think it's too much to ask for. If I'm saying AOS is going to go to like the market cap of Dogecoin, you know, during this bull run, that still, I think, would be kind of crazy to think about, even though it's like Dogecoin's all-time high market cap. I just think it's kind of ridiculous because I just don't think it could do that. But again, a $23 billion market cap doesn't seem too crazy, especially again, once the hype for AI jumps back in again. Also, once, you know, the crypto space gains back its amazing and bullish sentiment, you know, I still do believe that brighter days are ahead. And I think we could very well see a different story, you know, around six months, the year from right now, I think things could be very different. It's really just a waiting game. That's the way you take a look at it. That's why I'm constantly dollar cost averaging, you know, just acquiring any time and income holding and just waiting. That's it. No fancy day trading or using leverage or swing trading. Yeah, that's just not my style, really. I mean, I just don't like doing that. Some people like to do that. It's their choice, but I'm not going to do that. You know, when I just believe in something, I just like to keep it simple. Now, also something that I actually didn't mention in the earlier part of the video is the fact that AOS to a certain extent is also focused on NFTs. Now, a lot of people may cringe at this because they're like, oh, yeah, this is trash, all this type of stuff. It's caca. But I disagree because, yet again, for the final time, I want to say this, you know, according to Grandview Research, you know, the NFT market could be worth over $200 billion by 2030. So, yeah, I still think brighter days are ahead when it comes to that. But even besides that point, you have to take a look at the bullish factors during this bull run. You take a look at how there's over 600 million crypto owners. That's more than ever before in history, according to Crypto.com Research. You take a look at the Bitcoin ETF, the Ethereum ETF, the number of institutional investors, the amount of enterprise adoption. I think that this bull run could be very impressive, you know, but it's going to take time to showcase that, though. It's not going to happen like tomorrow or whatever like that when I upload this video, right, from then. But again, all I got to do is just wait, let's say, around six months to a year from right now. Hypothetically, of course, we never know. But still, I think in 2025, things could be very different because when you have those bullish factors, I just don't see why this bull run would be bad. You know, if 2021 was amazing with way less factors, right? Back then, there was pretty much half the amount of crypto owners, even during the peak of that bull run compared to right now. All I got to do again is just stay patient because AOs at the price of $20 during this bull run wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think this bull run could be that amazing. And I think AOs is that fantastic of a project. And again, I'm very bullish. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's only the captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm up. Peace. Bye.